You count on the organs and systems of your body to consistently do what they do. Not to do what they do once in a while, but predictably. If even one of them fails to perform their task predictably, the whole thing goes haywire. Predictability matters. I'm Kelly Rhodes with Body and Behavior Institute. In this video, I'm going to do a quick overview of how predictability of your survival resources can impact emotions, feelings, and behaviors. I'm talking about how predictability is experienced by the organs and systems of your body. And when I say organs and systems of your body, I'm talking about your heart and spleen and your lungs and liver and kidney and insula, your amygdala, your brain, your nervous system, your immune system, limbic system, dopaminergic system, all the parts of your body that work together to increase your chance of survival. These organs and systems of your body, they don't just work on occasion. Your heart constricts and relaxes, constantly delivering blood through your body. And it does this every minute of every day and night throughout your whole life. Your lungs don't just bring in air every once in a while. They constantly deliver oxygen to the organs and systems of your body. Your stomach and digestive system predictably digest food you put in it and distributes those nutrients throughout your body. From the moment these organs and systems are formed until you die, they are constantly delivering their nutrient or performing their process, coordinating with the other systems in your body to keep you alive and thriving. And in order for the organs and systems of your body to predictably deliver their contribution, they must also be able to predict that the elements they need to perform those functions will be available to them. Not once in a while, but predictably. Predictability is so important to your survival that the human body devoted a whole system to tracking the predictability of all the survival resources your body will need to keep you alive and thriving. This system is called the dopaminergic system. Your survival resources can be categorized on a five-tiered hierarchy. Food, safety and safe shelter, survival partner, well-resourced survival partner, and survival purpose. It doesn't matter so much if conditions are harsh, if you have to run up a hill or dive deep down in the ocean, or if you have to stand for long hours or go through a sequence of activities or behaviors to get the food, safety, shelter, whatever the resource is. What matters is that whatever activities or behaviors you have to perform, after you've performed those behaviors, you'll have that resource. If any of these resources is missing, the organs and systems of your body generate emotions that enlist behaviors to meet that missing survival resource. These are biological adjustments that when felt tell you what the organs and systems of your body assess their ability to follow through on their contribution is to the collective task of helping you survive and thrive. Your Survival depends on the predictability of survival resources. Not only your survival, but your emotions, feelings, and behaviors are in large part choreographed by the predictability of your survival resources. I'm Kelly Rhodes with Body and Behavior Institute. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe.